Structural frames exhibit higher natural frequencies with fixed bases and lower frequencies with pin bases. The distinction arises from the rigidity of fixed supports and the fixity of pin supports. Engineers utilize both numerical modeling with abacus and theoretical calculations to predict and analyze these natural frequencies. Today, I will present natural frequencies of structural frames using abacus and analytical calculations. Hey friends, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer at a London university. On this channel, we explore technical and human skills to help us lead more productive, happy and examine life. Today, I will talk about natural frequencies of structural frames with one side fixed and other side pinned. The problem that I want to solve today has got a fixed support at left side and pin support at right side. EI for left column is EI for right. It is 1.5, which means that, that the section size is going to be larger. A rigid mass 500 kg is attached. The distance between two columns is 5 meters. Data given is E and density and Poisson's ratio mass. Left column is 0.15 by 0.15 meters. Right is 0.225 by 0.225 meters and Beam size is irrelevant here, but we are going to specify size in any way. Required is angular frequency and frequency in hertz. As usual, I'm going to be using SI units to model this problem in Abacus. I will be using these nine steps to create model in Abacus. First step is part where we will create geometry. Start with Abacus standard. I will create a frame, a deformable 3D wire and planar the maximum size is 10 continue i will create a frame and the horizontal dimension is 5 right side is 4 click on this icon to auto zoom and left side is 6 in this way a frame has been created second step is property module where we will define materials and assign cross sections the next step is property. In property, I will first of all define material. So material is concrete, mechanical properties, elastic, 30E9, Poisson's ratio is 0 0.2. I will specify the density as well. Go to density, 2400, but here I will have highly reduced density so that my model takes into account lamp mass so i will say e into minus four once the material has been defined then i will define the section so first i will define the left column left column beam section and 0 0.2 here i will specify a profile left column is 0 0.15 by 0 0.15 rectangular so 0. 1.5 and 0 0.15 I click ok and click done i will create another profile uh, for right column as well before specifying its section so let's create a right c rtc rectangular right column is 0 0.225 and 0 0.225 click ok and beam a beam is 0 0.1 by 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 then i will go to sections again i will define the right column rt call a beam section and poison's ratio is 0 0.2 profile is right column click ok and then beam the section is beam click beam click all right now i have to assign those sections so go to parts go to frame and then section assignment double click first left column click left column and then assign left column click ok and then right column click done assign right column and then beam choose beam and then assign beam section in that way the sections have been assigned now i will take this opportunity to define the beam section orientations click ok select the frame and i would like to have a look at 3d view and simply i will enter that the beam section orientation has been defined third step is assembly module where we will assemble all parts the next step is assembly i will go to assembly click 
instances click ok assembly has been defined fourth step is step module where we define all analysis steps and parameters and then steps click on steps i will say frec f go to linear perturbation and frequency click continue i will use length zosh method and i want first six eigen modes click on here fifth is interaction module where we define contact interactions and constraints the next step is interactions in interactions i will first of all define a reference point so this is the reference point then i will attach that reference point with the beam so that the entire beam is rigid so go to constraints double click on constraint rigid body constraints and then i will tie it up select the section the beam section and reference point is this reference point which i defined earlier click ok this reference point has been tied to the beam and then i will assign a point mass to this beam which was 500 kg so go to assembly engineering features go to inertia and say mass select this rigid reference point 500 mass has been defined sixth is load module where we define boundary conditions and loading the next step is load where i will define the boundary conditions so i will simply go to boundary conditions first is fixed and i will define it in initial displacement rotation click continue i will choose this point and i will restrain everything here The next boundary condition is pin. Click OK. Choose the point. And here I will restrain the translational degrees of freedom. And this is pin boundary conditions. No load is necessary. Seventh is mesh module where we define mesh size and element type. And then I'll go to mesh. First, I will choose the element type. Choose the entire frame. And I want to mesh the model with quadratic elements. Go to quadratic. Click continue. And then I will seed the part seed the part with 0.2 seeds I click ok and then i'll match the part part has been matched eighth is job module which we use to run and monitor analysis the next is job i will define the job as frec f click continue job has been defined and at this point i will save the model and i will define the working directory then i will submit the job Ninth is visualization module used for viewing results. A clean solution and I would like to have a look at the data file. First thing I want to look is the mass. So mass is nearly 500 kgs. It, it means it's not taking into account the densities. And then I will have a look at the frequencies. First frequency is 0.9, second is 4.3 and third is 132. I will take this opportunity to have a look at the results go to results here i would like to render the profile go to view odb display option render the profile 1.5 apply then i want to see the deflected and undeflected shape the deflection here is not necessary so if you if you like you can simply go to view annotation options and title block and compass i don't want to see and i don't want to see legend so click ok and I want to activate this allow multiple plots. In that way, I'll be able to see that how is it deflecting. So this is the first mode shape. And if you like, you can see its movie. If you like, you can reduce its speed. So here, this is the first mode, 0 0.9. This mode really compares well with the, with the theoretical solution. I will not go through the theoretical solution, but here I will provide the theoretical solution. You can go through yourself. From theoretical solution, we get 0.94 and here we're getting 0.91. Let's go and have a look at the second mode. Go to steps and second mode 4.32. Second mode is again translational mode where uh, we get frequency as 4.32. Again, this is very close to what we get from theoretical solution. In theoretical solution, we're getting 4.36, which is really very close. Let's go and have a look at the third mode. Go to results and step frame. 
third mode again it's a translational mode this is the mode which is controlled by axial deformations but here you can see that because the left side column is thinner than right side column you can see a slight bulging in this column so it's not completely axial deformation it is causing slight bending in this column I don't know how to carry out the theoretical calculations for that. Uh, normally, we carry out the calculations for this mode as the axial one, but it has got some elements of slight bending. So, so I'm assuming that the results from Abacus are better than than analytical solution. Again, if I have a look at the analytical solution, you can see that it's axial mode. So we have EA over L for left column and right column. This results in 146 cycles per second and we get 132 in numerical solution.